Gail, fantastic start to the campaign. Couldn't ask for much better. Absolutely, 2-0. I think the second half really summed it up. You know, loads of possession in the first half, but to get those two goals in the second half was key. Absolutely, and a lot of patience required uh, after the first half. The goal came in the 55th minute. It was worth waiting for, though. A lovely, lovely goal from Namagin. Oh yeah, he turned on it, he, and as we said, you know, he uh, beat Paddy for the uh, for the shot, but his swivel was great, and he's in form, and I think that's what we've seen tonight. A real in form Namagin. Absolutely, confidence, and as you say. He was making sure he was getting in there. Yes, and I think I don't think I've ever seen um, our wide players get as much of the ball as yep. they did tonight. So that was that was really key. Yep. Second goal, penalty, maybe uh, justice for the penalty decision that didn't go our way in the first half. Yes, I mean, I think there was loads of shouts in the first half, you know, we didn't get as many free kicks as, as we would have wanted, but yep. um, great confidence um, from Stevie to step up and, you know, the weak dink down the middle, you know, it, it could have went either way, but it went in and that's, that's the main thing. Clean sheet as well, you mentioned the goalkeeper, Gail. Massive confidence uh, shown from him tonight to come out and and make a, a really key save. Yeah, and as a young guy, you know, his kicking's excellent. I think his distribution from the back was really good. But to come out and his timing for the uh, for the save and everything, and it really lifted the crowd because at 1-0, it, it, it could have completely changed the game. And, and I think it spurred us on and gave us the confidence to go get the second. And Estonia didn't make it easy, did they? I mean, it was they were hard to break down. We did expect them to line up defensively and they, and they did and, and it, it was tough to break through. Yes and any team that plays five at the back that sits deep you know it, yeah, we're going to have to see a lot of patience and I think we showed that and I think we showed maturity and um, you know maybe the results from, from the, the Nations League it didn't go our way but it seemed that these give the boys confidence um, to, go, to go back at it. Absolutely at one point it even looked like there were six at the back at, at times. Yes and again you know they sat in they frustrated us and, and what was really interesting tonight was when you change the system you know primarily we were playing a 3-5-2 um, especially at the the Euros and now we've changed to 4-3-3 and I think the players really adapted. I think you've seen that in the midfield and with the presence of Paddy McNair, a wee bit more physicality that he brought um, was, was really interesting. Absolutely and you mentioned the formation and it's something that's been talked about quite a lot uh, since the Nations League campaign and I think tonight was a great example of, of that style that Michael's trying to bring through and the high press, the triangles, you know, the possession football, creating chances in play, all of that was on show. Absolutely. And I think the really the key tonight was was our wide men and especially our fullbacks. And you've seen that, you know, Jamal Lewis is in form. Uh, you've seen from Stuart Dallas on the other side. You've seen Jones and, and the pace that they have. Um, and again, Michael Pop may be a little bit frustrated with some of the deliveries, but that will come. Yes. But it's great that they're just getting on the ball. And a real good blend of experience and youth. Absolutely. And, you know, I think I highlighted it earlier as well. Just the depth we have on the bench. Like, you know, every time the, the subs went to warm up, the crowd was going nuts. And, <laughs> yeah. and you were thinking, oh, there's Connor, you know, there, there's Josh, there's so many options on the bench now too for Michael and I think that's going to be key for the later matches. Absolutely. Big, big start. We've talked again as well, Gail, about breaking this uh, group stage into two stages almost. So these first four games um, against Estonia and Belarus and then the second two games against Germany and the Netherlands. Um, is that a helpful thing, do you think? It's, I think it's tough um, because there's pressure on you to win those the early games and yes. then you know uh, what's coming next. Um, but again, when you start winning, winning is a habit and I think that's going to be key. If we can get these home games, we can get, get six points on the board, I think that's really going to set us in a good platform for, for the tougher games. Absolutely, and there's every chance then if you've 12 points going into those big games, there's, there's every chance. Good, and I think that breeds it with the fans you know when you've got the points on the board then anything can happen absolutely and I'm sure Michael will be having a good chat with the boys now and I'm sure he'll be very pleased with what he's seen tonight yeah I, I think it'll, they'll, they'll not switch off you know they'll go back they'll rest they'll get training again tomorrow they'll do recovery and they'll get a uh, focus for the next game because it is key we are at home we've got the fans behind us yep. and we really need to get the next three points and just as a former international yourself Gail I mean these big nights with your home crowd, I mean they're they're really special nights. Absolutely, that's what's what you play the game for, yeah. and, and you can tell by the enthusiasm. And and again, what a lot of people forget that they're friends. So yes. you get to go away with your friends, and you can see that throughout the team that you know that they're, they're good pals, and I think that shows on the pitch. And how important. As a manager as well, how important is that team spirit? It, and that's what Michael's created. Michael's yeah. created really good cohesion without the, uh, within the team. You can see it, you know, they get a few trips out. You see now again, you know, at the media that he was at McGabry yep. and we things like that, they really they make the trip for them. So it's important that he, he finds a good blend. It's important that he, the recovery is right. But I think you'll see a, a better Northern Ireland on Sunday. And 
a mention for the fans as well. As always, a great atmosphere and just make these nights so special. And, and the singing was excellent and you know everybody knew we were going to play attacking style of football and we've seen that and, and it's a real buzz around again. So um, I think uh, Sunday will be a really, a really great game. Thank you so much, Gail, for your time and your insight. Thank you very much indeed. Now we're going to hear from Michael, from Nal McGinn and from Josh McGuinness. Michael, congratulations. Exactly the, the start you would have wanted. Yeah, that was a good win. Um, clean sheet. Um, a lot of good performances. Things we need to improve on as well, there's no doubt about that. But we showed good patience. Uh, it's easy to get frustrated. We had chances in the first half that we didn't take. And, you know, obviously that uh, Estonia then get more belief. They've got something to, to play for. They're hanging on to you know, perhaps coming out with a point or, or nicking a goal. And uh, so, as I say, to, to get the win was uh, it's, a, it's a relief and uh, it's a good start. Absolutely. Excellent, Michael. You just talked about patience. Was that the half time team talk? Well, it was a little bit more, and also just to, to look at where we were in the final third. I thought, you know, in the first half, we put a lot of good balls in the box, but, you know, we just needed a lot of better runs. We needed more bodies in the box, and, and at times we needed a better final ball. A lot of our play was, was as we hoped. Um, we've worked hard on, on the system and what, what we expect from our wide players, but I think we just need to, you know, it's an area that we're constantly going to have to work on, and uh, it was good, but, you know, if you look at the goal, the first goal, you know, it's Jordan's cross, it's Kyle holds the play up, and Niall scores. It's our front three players that obviously are involved in the goal, so that's a real positive. Yeah, and I think there was probably a key part in, in the game with Peacock Farrell with mm -hmm. the great save. Like, what would you sum up his performance? Yeah, listen, he's, you know, he's a very young goalkeeper to be playing at this level, and, and uh, great potential. There's no doubt about that, and it's difficult. You know, he's, he's out of his club side at the minute, and, and he's come in, and I thought he did very well. Um, he kicked well, and, and that was a big moment, you know. And that, that, I think he he benefit from that because it was an important game for him, and obviously we didn't want the game to go to one one. So it was a, it was a it was a key save and a key moment in the game. And the fans just seem to love Jamal Lewis. But how would you sum him up? But look, you see what Jamal brings. He's got his athleticism is fantastic. His ability to carry the ball from left back, and both him and Stuart, very attacking fullbacks that we played with tonight. And again, a very young player. You know, really in his first season of, of football, first team football with Norwich. And now, you know, we're asking him to play at international level straight away. I thought he did really well for us. But and again, you know, he's going to be a big player for Northern Ireland for years to come. So it must be very encouraging for you, Michael, to see your style of play really coming through. Yeah, I think so. You know, we've worked hard on on, on, on how we want to play in the 4-3-3. We have, we have probably better legs and athleticism in the team than at any point in, in the, in, since I've been in charge. These younger players have brought that, which enables us to play in that style. Even at the, at the end of the game, you see us breaking from midfield. You know, I thought Savile did come into the game much better in the second half. I thought McNair again gives you that power from midfield. So, as I say, there's a lot for us to be positive of. There's still room for improvement, we know that. But, you know, we'll take the positives from tonight and um, get ready for Sunday. Well, joining us now is Nam again. Now, congratulations. Great result and a goal. Yeah, no, first and foremost, obviously, delighted with three points. On a personal, delighted with my, my first goal at Windsor. I've, I've probably scored uh, important goals away from home, obviously, the Euros as well. But uh, all in all, professional performance and I think patience was key. And thankfully, uh, I've scored and we've got the three points. And the super finish, and you weren't letting uh, Paddy McNair take that one anyway. <laughs> no, definitely. I've seen Paddy running towards it, and I'll probably speed it up a wee bit. But I've caught it nice, and the keepers obviously gambled with the other side, and I've caught it lovely. And thankfully, it's uh, got us off to a good start in the second half, and then Dave will kill it off with a penalty. You've scored six for Aberdeen uh, so far this season, and one on Saturday, so uh, you're in form anyway. Yeah, definitely. Now, the last couple of games have been great for me, scoring against Rangers, scoring against Livingston the weekend, and my confidence is high at the moment, and thankfully, I've got an opportunity tonight to come in and play, and uh, yeah, delighted scored but most importantly we've won and that sets us up nicely for, for Sunday. Absolutely I'm sure it relaxes the nerves a bit Niall just when you get that first win under your belt. Yeah definitely I think patience was, was massively key tonight. Uh, I think maybe in previous years uh, maybe four or five years ago where, where maybe teams came at us a bit more we didn't maybe have as much possession but tonight we showed with possession we got the ball wide we, we created chances although we, we didn't score in the first half thankfully we scored quite early in the second half and uh, yeah it's been the difference getting off to a good start in the second half and uh, Dave was killed it off the second goal so all in all good all night round and just got to rest and recover now and look forward to Sunday. Josh congratulations great result great start. Yeah massively you know we said that um, in the meeting and during the week that this block of four games before we meet the so-called bigger nations is massive so there's bits that we could have done better there's bits that we've done very well so we'll learn from it and then we'll look forward to Sunday night. Do you think Josh breaking it down into those kind of almost two stages yeah. that's been talked about to so these four games and the next four games is that is that helpful? Kind of Massively, thing? yeah. You know, it's just the same. You know, when you get drawn in these these groups with these sort of club, so-called bigger nations, you know, in football yeah. terms with their history, 
um, people sort of write you off, but we've proved here in, in a way that we, we've managed to um, to do great things, and especially on, on these types of nights. So, but the, the games that we're playing th thick and fast, we do believe that we can win, um, and it's just about our application. And we know that if we show up and we play how we can, that we'll get the victory like we did tonight. Absolutely. And what's really exciting is that you know when I was in the crowd, everyone, uh, how many forwards we now have, and how Michael can change the game, and you certainly did that when you come on. How do you think about your performance? Yeah, it was good. Obviously, I thought I should have scored maybe, but um, the most important thing is we get the, the three points and, um, and we try and stay as close as the top of the table as we can. But as you said, you know, we've got different types of strikers. You know, when Michael needs different type of things for for what he's needing in the game. You know, I'm sort of maybe like for like for Cal. So. Tonight was that type of game, and to get on the pitch uh, was absolutely fantastic. Uh, as I said, maybe should have scored, but we we'll move on to Sunday night. Well, that's all from us for tonight. Thank you for watching and for listening. We will be back here on Sunday when we host Belarus at the National Stadium here at Windsor Park. We'll see you then.